Mongolian uh, autonomous region and we are live on Facebook, Twitter and YouTube. Um, in the Mongolian autonomous region has just celebrated its 70th anniversary and um, this region boasts um, excellent herding industry thanks to the vast grassland here. So uh, the region also enjoys uh, excellent and high quality dairy products. So today we are going to show you various kind of uh, dairy products here and if you are a big fan of cheese and uh, milk tea, don't miss the show today because we are going to give you a feast of dairy products. So today we have this lovely lady to join, to join us. Uh, she's the boss, uh, the, the, the owner of the workshop of the uh, dairy products. Her name is Xi Qi Ge. It means flower in Mongolian. Hello, hello. She's going to show us how to make different kind of uh, dairy products, including cheese curds and also milk tea and, uh, uh, and so on. And yeah, and so. There is kind of dairy products. Mm -hmm. So, so this is a different kind of uh, stages of the milk and you can see now this is the fresh milk yeah fresh milk and uh, this is the this is the fermented milk uh, it has mm -hmm. been put here for a whole day so it has been fermented and it Several uh, so you can see the different colors between the fresh milk and yeah. the fermented milk. Yeah, this the looks white, yes. more, more white, and this uh, one looks yellow. Yellow, yeah. yeah. And you can see the different layers here. So that's yeah. the first step we make uh, cheese curds or milk cakes. So the first step is to scoop the first layer out. Uh, the name of the first layer is called Yao Ke. Yeah, or we, we can um, okay. okay. So so it's it, it's like the butter, uh, but it tastes like cream. And Mongolians usually mix the Yao Ke with uh, fried rice. Mm -hmm. This is what they eat for their breakfast. So they mix the butter-like cream yeah. with fried rice as kind of a snack. Yeah, we will try it later. And actually, I tried it once. I think it's uh, something like ice cream. It's very tasty. Yeah. So we will try it later. So, so, so just stay tuned. We are going to try all these kind of uh, uh, dairy dairy products. Yes, delicious. So d just don't walk away. So mm, mm, yeah, you can see that uh, mm. the second layer is it's like something like yogurt because yeah. it's fermented. Mm. Yeah, and this is the thing that we will are uh, going to use for the next step. Mm -hmm. So the next step, yeah, we will try to scoop mm. some of the um, milk. Yeah. Okay, so oh. now we are going to make uh, milk tofu as they call it. Uh, it is not tofu because it's not made uh, with soybean, it's made of milk. But uh, it's called milk tofu, that's because it looks like tofu just like over there. Yeah, that's milk tofu we are going to make today with the milk. And it tastes like something between mm -hmm. tofu and, and uh, cake. Okay, so it's kind of um, tofu or cake whatever you call it. So we scooped this liquid into the mixer. Usually um, they, they used to, they used to uh, mix the liquid with, uh, by hand, but now they have uh, this modern machine to help them uh, so that they can reduce hard work. Oh, so that's, that's the way the, the milk is fermented. Uh, she was telling us that the best milk to make milk tofu is the one that's naturally fermented. Uh, we make all those dairy products by hand, not by machine. And those yeah. ones are the ones mm -hmm. that look like by Mongolians. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, so it takes uh, it takes shorter time to ferment the milk in summer, but longer in winter. So it's uh, how long it depends on her own experience. So it takes years hard practice to do the job. Oh, okay. So I try to help her by scooping this liquid. Oh, uh, so so it, uh, she's going to heat the liquid while mixing them. So heating and mixing is the next step. Wow. Is it that heavy or? Yeah, you can try. Yeah. Okay, I'll have to try. You can experience oh, the It looks thick. very easy, but it's really a little bit heavy. Yeah. And if you like scoop it one after another and a whole bucket, I think it takes a lot of effort. Okay, so time to mix the liquid. Oh, okay, we need one more thing. Okay, so this is less thick. It's ha actually very hard labor work every day. Oh, so, so you can see this is different from the... Yeah, the, the previous liquid we, we scooped in is like thicker, while yeah. this, this part uh, buckets. Oh. oh, so so she adds this kind of liquid into the mixture so that to make the tofu more chewy. Can I try? Okay, mm. I can. I'm going to help you with the hard work. Yeah, so this is easier. A mix of both thick acid and creamy milk will help make the tofu chewy. And while I'm scooping the liquid, the liquid I can smell the the flavor of milk. So this is um one hundred two two hundred kilo two hundred kilo kilogram two hundred kilogram. You we are not so good at math. So. That, that's it, that's the, this step. And uh, so we are going to heat the liquid. Okay, so while it is heated, the first layer will come out. It's called whey. Uh, Oh, so we can we can make wine and also steam buns with the whey separated from the liquid for uh let that's uh, something like clear water. Yeah. yeah, the whey looks like clear water so that you will you will see later, so just don't walk away. We are going to mix that. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, you can see now, this is way, yeah, it, it, it's clearer, it's clearer than, than, the, than the mixture. Yeah, so uh, the way will come out while heating the liquid. Uh, so we can make, uh, in conclusion, we can make way into mm -hmm. wine, candies, uh, yeah. juice, or, 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 you or you can you can also steam buns yeah, with it. Yeah. Or we can actually uh, now uh, she has actually invented a new uh, drink which is to uh, mix mm -hmm. mango or banana juice with fruits. Yeah. yeah. So it's no no which 
so okay. Okay, so we are um, while we are waiting for the liquid to uh, to be heated, uh, we are going to up going upstairs to see other kinds of uh, dairy products here. So for just who just join us, uh, we are going live on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube, and we are in, in the Mongolian Autonomous Region, which just celebrated its 17th anniversary, and we are now in a workshop of dairy products, uh, which is a specialty of uh, in the Mongolia, because the region boasts a lot of vast uh, grassland here. Yeah, you can see this kind of... Uh, these uh, actually look like cookies, but they are not called cookies. Mm -hmm. uh, they are oh. called cheese uh, in Chinese. But it's not the same thing with cheese in, uh, in, in other countries. Yeah. We'll try them later, just uh, minutes later. Mm -hmm. And Oh, so yeah, we have uh, different flavors of the dried cheese here. Yeah, you can see the cheese curds uh, in different shapes, like they have uh, something like chips over there and uh, slices, and uh, they ha uh, some of them are salted while others are sweet. Oh, uh, so they, they won't go bad within one year, so you can enjoy the, this delicious thing uh, for the whole year. Wow, that's really delicate. Yes, yeah, you can see here, we have, uh, she ha uh, there are different patterns, like uh, this is a tree and uh, this is a house, a very traditional style architecture. Uh, with Mongolian style, yeah, and um, I think this is this cake is for ceremony in yeah. a, in in during locals the uh, during festival. yeah spring festival, so it's very festive. And uh, we have different sizes of this kind of cakes. Yes, you so can see here. Chula. Oh. Chula. Oh, it's not. So, uh, it's, it's, uh, the process of making this is different from the one of making milk tofu. Uh, we put it under a stone to help press the water out of it. Mm -hmm. Then uh, we will put it under the sun for it to dry. Yeah, dry. Yeah. And, uh, uh, although we have a uh, different kind of uh, dairy products here, but you can always eat it alone as snacks, or you can uh, go with different dishes. You can use them to cook different dishes. And also you can always go with milk tea. Milk tea and cheese curds like this, they are the favorite uh, food for locals because um, they don't have, um, like they, they have little vegetables and fruits on the grassland. So they have to eat uh, dairy products to um, get more uh, necessary vitamins and also minerals. So that uh, so it's not just delicious, but also very nutritious. Yeah, this, that's the way they live on the grassland. Yeah, and I think even in today, mm -hmm. we have vegetables and fruit. Yeah. Uh, eating these dairy products uh, is a tradition that's yeah. kept here in the prairie. So uh, everybody living in the prairie or in the city, mm -hmm. both like these snacks yeah and they eat it every day in the morning in the afternoon mm -hmm. or yeah it's just, just like for the whole day daily thing yeah you can always eat it as snacks and also it's kind of a, a way to absorb nutrition yeah yeah so uh, you can also take a closer look at this kind of uh, you can just appreciate the different shapes and also uh, the different colors
And for those who just join us, we are live on Facebook, uh, Twitter, and YouTube. We are in the, in the Mongolian in autonomous region, which just celebrated the 70th anniversary. And uh, in the Mongolia, has, uh, it's the first provincial level ethnic autonomous region in China. And the autonomous region was founded in 19, uh, 1947, sorry, uh, under the leadership of the Communist Party of China. And it is one of the countries five autonomous regions. The others are Xinjiang, Tibet, Ningxia, and Guangxi. Um, in the Mongolia, covers an area of um, 1.18 uh, million square meter, kilometer, and it's about 12% of the country's land area. So it's a very big region. Um, and the um, uh, Mongolian population is about 4.6 million and it's nearly one-fifth of the region's total. And uh, over the past 70 years, the region's economy has increased by, uh, by more than 600 times. What's, so what's the number? Uh, it's about one, is it about 1.86 trillion, trillion yuan? Yeah, trillion yuan. Yeah, really huge number. So you can imagine the, the enormous um, development over the past 70 years. And uh, as you can see uh, from the dairy products here, herding industry is one of the major industries uh, the region boasts. And all these dairy products are made from the milk that's delivered mm -hmm. from uh, her farm every morning. And later on, we are going to try and taste the, uh, all these kind of uh, uh, products. So, um, so just don't walk away because we are going downstairs to, se to see how the liquid we just scooped up, uh, how it's mixed and how it's heated. So shall we go down? Okay, so, so we're going, going downstairs to see how our labor work comes out. Uh, Hi guys, so you can see now the liquid we just scooped it is very different from the stages we just saw. Yeah, you can see that, uh, yeah, the, this is uh, the clear, clearer liquid is the, w is the whey. Yeah, what, what, can, what can we do with whey? Uh, we talked about it just now, it can be made into wine, candy, juice, or a steam bun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the way. way. Uh, so, we okay. Okay, so uh, we are going to separate the whey. From okay. the we are going to separate the whey from the thicker liquid up, uh, underneath. Okay. Mm. Now it's Okay, so you can just take a closer look here. Okay, so actually, uh, it's too early to scoop the whey out, so we're still waiting for some moment. Yeah, it, um, we need the proper temperature and a proper heating time for the liquid to get ready. Oh, we now today we have uh, this kind of uh, modern machine to help the work, but in the past we actually make mm -hmm. fire with the dawn of uh, cows under a huge pot. Yeah. yeah. So it takes time to make tasty dairy products. It takes time to make good tofu. So patience is virtue here. Yeah. Just be patient and don't walk away. Stay tuned. Stay with us. Yeah, we can see those uh, things are like coming out. They're be becoming like thicker. Mm -hmm. And this white, white liquid 
um, it looks a little bit like yoga, but it's not yoga. Just be patient and delicious thing will come out later. This is whey. We are going to separate the uh, whey from the mixture so that we can make tofu, make cheese curds out of uh, the liquid. So actually like making their products is like magic, make, right? Yeah. Mm. We can make so, different so many. Yeah. Oh. So, so the way can be used to make different kinds of uh, different products. So the mm -hmm. traditional way uh, to make use of this way is to make them into uh, wine mm -hmm. or stick mm -hmm. or skin buns. But now we have some modern ways, which is innovative, to them into uh, fruit juice, candies, or jellies. Yeah. Or fancy uh, things. Oh, you can you can drink it just just like this. You can also drink it. But uh, uh can can I try? Okay, so um I'm going to try in this liquid to, to to see what it looks what it tastes like. You are very curious, uh is it like sweet or sour? Yeah and, and you can see this is the milk tofu we are going to make milk tofu or cheese curds. Yes, you can that's that's the thing we are going to make okay, with the liquid. Mm. Mm. It tastes, it, it's not that salty as I imagined, but, um, but it has very strong flavor of milk. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Because, yeah. because it's made of the, the essence of milk. Mm. And I'm going to try this one. <laughs> I'm going to be courageous enough to try the fermented uh, liquid. It's sep it's way separated from the fermented milk. Mm. It tastes sour, but it's um it's it tastes a little bit like yogurt, but it's not that thick. It's clearer. So it's very healthy. It's nutritious for our health. Okay. So um. So um. The and while our mixture is still needs time, yeah. So it's all way. Guys, just be patient with the delicious food. We are in the in the Mongolia Autonomous Region, which just celebrated its 70th anniversary, and now we are in a workshop of dairy products. And uh, you can see the way here. It's like. Um, Yogurt, it's, it's not yogurt, it's fermented milk and uh, we are going to separate the whey from the liquid so that we can make cheese curds or milk tofu as the locals call it. Um, it's kind of a nutritious and a delicious treat. So, now we um she told us uh, it's the liquid is ready now for the separation. Yeah. Yeah, we are going to scoop up the, what's, what's the white one called? Is it, is it called? It's, it's uh, not jiao ke, tofu? Tofu. 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 Oh, so, so the, the white one okay. is, the, is the ingredient we are going to make with white tofu. Wow. So now it's about uh, half an hour of heating and we have the ingredients for mm -hmm. making tofu. We have the yeah. mixer. Uh, we need to filter uh, 
the right thing for several times to make the best protein. So it's all the essence of milk. Yeah. Very nutritious. The, yeah, yeah. Nutrients in the milk. So if you live on the prairie, uh, you can you can just eat uh, this kind of uh, dairy products to get all the nutrients we need. Just like little babies. Yeah. Okay, then here's the so next step. Here we have a very big um, bucket of tofu we made earlier. Oh. So it's it's more than 500 100 kilograms. kilograms here in this bucket. Mm -hmm. And this uh, is all made this morning. So how many uh, kilograms of uh, milk tofu do you make every day? You make can do how many tofu? Uh, more than 50 kilograms of milk tofu is made every day here at her workshop. But how many milk is consumed? Uh, 每天消耗多少奶啊? Uh, and to make these milk tofu, we need more than 500 kilograms of so milk it's like, every day. So it's like one kilogram milk tofu to, uh, is made of uh, 10 kilograms of milk. So it's like one to 10, the, the proportion. But uh, we, are, we are not going to waste a drop of it because yeah, as you can see now the way, uh, it's not going to be wasted. We are going to use it for another uh, dairy products while we use uh, the, the white liquid here for the white tofu. Wow, wow. this is a, like milk fall. It's not a waterfall, but it's the milk fall. Wow, that's spectacular. So we are not going to waste a drop of it because um, we can use different stages of the liquid to make different uh, products. So we cherish every drop of it. So the, the fresh one is the uh, best one for us to make juice for wine. So the milk here is fresh every day. It's uh, delivered from her farm about uh, four, four kilometers, kilometers away. away. And on her farm, her family raised about 40 cows. Mm -hmm. 40 cows. Wow. So all the food is green and natural. Organic. Yep. So it's very healthy to eat. So how long have you been um, making dairy products? Uh, uh, since uh, uh, she says she has been making milk products for over six years. And actually this is a tradition in her family to make milk products by hand. Mm -hmm. So what are we going to do next? Oh. So we are we are going to like we're going to filter the, the essence of the milk and uh, we are going to mix it to make uh, milk tofu finally. It's like we are trying to steam the water uh, out. And we need to stick it, stir it. So we need several minutes to do the job to mix to mix it. And uh, actually, standing here, we can uh, smell the very tasty smell of mm -hmm. milk. 
Yeah. I feel now. Yeah, I feel like a baby right now. Yeah. Because we have uh, all this kind of milk here. We are like overwhelmed by milk. Oh, we are going to further se separate the wave from the liquid so that we can get the best part of it. And for those who just join us, we are live on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. And we are uh, in, in the Mongolia Autonomous Region. And we are in a workshop of dairy products. Uh, and uh, this lovely lady is going to show us how to make milk tofu or cheese curds with fresh milk. And you, you can see now this is all the essence of milk. And uh, we use the, we, we, we can um, make different mm -hmm. kinds of dairy products with different stages of the milk. Mm -hmm. So if you have one bucket of milk here, you are not going to waste a drop of it. We can use every drop of it to make uh, different kinds of products. And they are all delicious and uh, nutritious. And they are must have uh, snacks and food for mm -hmm. Mongolians here, no matter it's in the prairies or in the yeah. Oh, uh, so we have to. So it's really hard labor work here. And she says she has to be very careful in filtering uh, the ingredients because only by this way can we make the best tofu. It's also like purifying. Mm -hmm. So that we can get the best part. So now it's mixing. Yeah, we can see. Uh, is this way or yeah, water or is coming out while steaming and stirring? So all all is left is the best part of milk. Mm -hmm. Wow. It looks very cute. Yes. And it's really magic because just half an hour ago it was still milk. Yeah. But now it's kind of um it's it, taking shape. It reminds me of Baymax. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe it's it's because it looks white and it's very soft. Uh, so, uh, she, mm -hmm. okay. uh, she is telling us that time is very important in making milk tofu because if, uh, if we stir it for uh, too long a time, then it will become too sour and people won't like it. So, uh, how long it takes, it it's all depends on her own experience. Yeah. really really lovely and we have to scoop up the water separated from the from the essence of the milk so that we can so that we can leave the best parts and the, the okay so only when there is no water at all in the ingredients can we scoop it out and put them into this mold. Yeah, we can see here we have some um, molds, molds that to make tofu so that we can um, put the put it uh, into uh, make it into a curd. Oh, so you can see these are two different kind of uh, molds here and this is for making the tofu shape uh, of mold and you can see some patterns here it's I think it's the the Mongolian language um, I don't know what it means maybe she can tell us later and uh, this is um, a mold for uh, for the cake shape as and when you put the, the liquid into it and you can get a cake out of it it's and like the cake we saw just now yeah that's for the spring festival festive ceremonial cakes 
And um, uh, you can see the patterns here, it's very, very beautiful. So we are going to see how the magic goes uh, to make tofu out of it. Yeah, you can see now this is, now it's very, very, very thick. So just don't stay, just stay, stay with us and uh, we are going to make real magic here. Wow, it's really, really sticky. So she's putting the, the essence into the mold. Oh, we, we have to wait for, for it to cool down so that we can get a cake out of it. As you can see, uh, we have uh, some milk cake, milk cakes or milk tofu that's yeah. already made. And she's going to make more. Okay, she is a ma. I'm going to try to scoop up. I'm trying to reduce her work, but I don't know whether I can do it right now. Um, uh, wow, well, it's really sticky, so it needs very firm grip. Actually, it's not that easy as it seems. You can see now it's really sticky, really, really sticky. Yes, you can see that. And I'm going to put it in the mold. Oh, too, too, too little. I'm going to put more. Wow, <laughs> it's not that easy. Yeah. It's, it's really hard work and I think it needs practice. Wow, I think I screwed up the job. <laughs> Oh, okay, <laughs> I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to let her to take over because it's really really hard. Yeah. So um, she said that um, we use the pattern to make uh, cakes for the festival, so that it looks very beautiful. Those cakes really look like moon cakes in China, but yeah. these ones are made uh, from milk. And they are used like uh, on important festivals like festivals or other important festivals. Wow, so it's ready to eat. So, shall I try some? It's hot. I don't know how to... <laughs> wow, it's, it's really, really hot. hot. <laughs> I'm going to try it. Mm. It's really sticky. I don't know how to. It's, it's very chewy. Mm, chewy and uh, sticky. Mm -hmm. And it tastes a bit like cheese, but it's not salted. And it's not that sour also. Mm -hmm. Tastes really delicious. And it has a very strong flavor of milk. Like every day we drink milk, but now we are chewing milk. Mm -hmm. It's not chewing gum. Yeah. Mm, it's really chewy. And right now we are going to um, put this kind of um, cakes to let it to cool down. And you can see now over there, that's the, that's the finished tofu. Mm. And while, and you can see, uh, this needs to be cooled down. And now we are going to uh, take a finished one to cut it into smaller pieces. 
。OK， 我们接着写这个。等会儿可以试一下吗 ？Just um cut it into smaller slices. It's really hard because it's um how to say it's it's not that soft as tofu. 现在在做奶豆腐是拿奶奶豆腐披萨呀。现在做的，你们吃过吧？披萨。Oh, um, so, so she's telling us actually now we can, we can make pizza with uh, milk tofu as well. Or we can make facing the <laughs> That's innovative cuisine. Yeah, and milk tofu can also be made into a big bite. It's actually it's very sticky, so um, so it's not easy to cut in the Yeah. House. Luckily, I know how to cut because I used to cook at home. Or you can put it in an oven to bake. Yeah. And uh, smaller? How do you do it? Yeah. And you can go smaller and smaller. Oh, so uh, you if you if you cut it into smaller slices, uh, you can be easily to be cooled down in the summer. And there are many ways uh, making milk and eating milk toast. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will try. Can I try with this? Mongolians will eat it as it is, but if you like sweet, you can put uh, sugar into it to make it sweeter. I don't know whether I do it correctly, but so far so good, I think. Wow, I'm going to try another slices. So actually, uh, her workshop is located in, uh, in a place that is called Lan Shi, which means like blue banner in English. Mm -hmm. And uh, this place has very beautiful scenery. So many tourists come here uh, every year. And uh, she would um, mix juice into milk tofu to help the tourists love our Mongolia snacks. And actually, there are some other ways uh, for eating milk tofu. We can also fry them uh, in oil. So it's like fry, fried chips, or yeah. yeah. But it's uh, but but it's like uh, but fried chips is uh, salt, salt potato. Yeah. But this one is tastes like milk. It's crispy outside, but it's very soft inside. It's very chewy at the same time. Or you can um, eat it with syrup. So and you can always go with milk tea, I think. Yes. So so shall we go into the milk tea time? Yeah. Because I'm longing to have some drink now. Yes. So just stay with us. We are going to taste milk tea, uh, which is a favorite drink for uh, by the locals, as they can um, they can mix tea and milk, and it's a very special drink. So now we are going to go upstairs and uh, taste the delicious milk tea. So let's join us. Wow. Well, you can see different kinds of um, <laughs> Actually, uh, <laughs> at my home, we put hot water in this bottle, but here mm -hmm. in Mongolia, they hot usually hot have uh, Thank you. milk tea in this bottle. And if you are a guest in, in the Mongolia, you will always be treated with a, with a cup of a hot milk, milk tea. A bowl of hot milk tea. Thank you. But how does it taste? I don't know. Hot Shall I try? Hot. Wow, it's really hot. Yeah. Oh. 
So remember the cheese tofu we just made, and you can always put it into the milk tea and uh, to add some flavor. Like you can do to find for me. Uh, the milk tea tastes different from the normal ones. No, drink. it's different. Yeah, the normal ones we drink is sweet and mm -hmm. have boba inside, but this one we have milk tofu inside and it tastes a little bit uh, salty. Like salty, yeah, yeah. It, it goes salty. And um, uh, you, you maybe you know the milk tea in Hong Kong and uh, the milk tea in Hong Kong has a stronger flavor of tea while here they stresses the flavor of milk because that's the, that's the specialty here. Shall I sit down and um, taste better? And actually here she's making another uh, delicious mm -hmm. food for us. It's, uh, it's something that we talked about uh, just now. Mm. Mixed with or that's the butter-like cream part, yeah. uh, with fried rice. So that's you can also yeah. add some sugar to add some flavor. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try this. It looks a little bit like yogurt, but I don't know what it tastes like. So this is jiao ke or uh, the butter-like uh, liquid separated from the fermented milk and uh, it, it is mixed with uh, fried rice here as you can see now. I'm going to try it. Mm. The fried rice is mm, squeaky. Oh, very crispy. Mm -hmm. While the, mm, the jiao ke is very creamy mm -hmm. and um, it's kind of a perfect combination between the soft and the hard. Yeah, and it's like mixing uh, crispy uh, snacks with mm -hmm. ice cream. Yeah, you can imagine the taste of um, ice cream and goes with like oats. Yo um, oats or yogurt. Yes. Mm. Oh. oh, you can always, um, you can put it in the Steam oven, yeah, mm -hmm. cook it. Yeah, besides these, we also have a table of all kinds of mm -hmm. products you can over see. there. That yes, we'll over you can. There and have a look. So this is really, really fancy. This is huang, this is huang yu. Cool, right? Uh, this so is this is la. butter and um, this is jiaoke we have just saw, mm -hmm. and um, this is pulag. This is And this looks like chocolate cookies, yeah. but it's not chocolate cookies. It's just made with pure milk. Um, it is made of whey. And these are candy. Really fancy. This is made from jiao ke, and this is made from whey. Mm. Shall, shall, you want to try, try one? Yeah. This one, and I will try the one made so from whey. So this is whey. yeah. So this and one this would be a little bit sour. Yes, you can see. This one would be very sweet. So this is the sour one, and yours is the sweet one. But actually, it look looks quite the similar. Same. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna try different okay. tastes. It's sticky. It's not that sticky. Okay, so it's they are different. But it's not that sour as I yeah. imagine. Mm -hmm. It's quite delicious, mm -hmm. I think. And it tastes a little bit like tofu. Yes. Yeah. So it's like the Chinese version tofu. Tofu. Mm -hmm. Both has the taste of uh, milk and mm -hmm. chocolate. Chocolate, a little bit, but uh, no chocolate is added here. Yeah. And all these things are um, made by pure handwork. So um, it's a very traditional way to make the dairy products. And you can see the, the milk cakes here. <laughs> it's, um, it's for the spring <laughs> festival. <laughs> it's very festive, right? And you can see the patterns on, the, on top. 
两个字是什么意思？我们来这边的，他说。哦、oh, um, ，So that's the brand of their workshop. Lives on Golden Park. I think I'm going to have five different sizes of these shapes. Looks like a tower. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. Okay. So we go back to the milk tea. So that. Mm-hmm. So, if you want to join us with milk tea, just come to Inner Mongolia, and uh, this is the one of the five uh, China's pr uh, Autonom provincial level ethnic autonomous region, and it just celebrated its 70th anniversary. And this is milk tea. Um, it's made of milk and fu tea or brick tea. It's kind of a dark tea. Um, it's very dark, um, It's very helpful to digest the, the oily food here because they eat, they love to eat oily food um, to combat the cold winter. Yeah. Yeah, so, but you will get like, um, not that comfortable in your stomach yeah. when you eat too much oily food. So, milk tea is very helpful to digest. Milk so, tea, mm -hmm. fam, or all these dyer products are wonderful combinations. Yeah, that's the way the, in the Mongolian eats and that's the way they lives. So, um, uh, we are we are very uh, thank you uh, thank you for watching our uh, live program Amazing China and uh, see you next time bye 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 really right yeah cheers, cheers. Mm. happy birthday to Inner Mongolia thank you this is the Nan Huan Yu Zhuo Zhuo Huan Qin Nan Huan Yu this is the Qin Zhuo 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 Zhuo